One million soldiers died on the Western Front in 1914, many of them young, fathers, sons, brothers, who had died in barbed wire entanglements before they reached 19 years old. On Christmas Eve 1914, as the snow came down, temperatures dropped to freezing on the Western Front. Suddenly, a flicker of light came from the German trench. As British snipers focused on a potential target, more lights began to appear all across the German lines. Candlelight. First, the British thought the Germans were preparing for an attack. But instead of rifle fire, voices could be heard. Not the shouting of sergeant majors, but singing. The Germans could be heard singing Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, Silent Night, Holy Night. And then, after a moment of silence, our grenadiers would respond with a Christmas carol of their own. And for the first time in a long time, there was a smile. Then German stormtroopers raised a Christmas tree lit with candles above the trench and set it down on the sandbags. Slowly, a German officer climbed out of his trench and armed with a flag of truce, he moved forward. A British captain looked above his trench line with a flare gun ready and was met with the words, Don't shoot! We don't want to fight today! We send you some beer! A German officer stepped forward and I cautiously moved out to meet him. I walked into no man's land, past the frozen dead and barbed wire entanglements, to stand in front of this officer, and after a moment, I formally saluted. He then introduced himself as Count something or other, stepped forward and put his hand out. And as I shook his hand, there were cheers from both trenches. Our men emerged and ventured out into no man's land, not to meet the enemy in combat, but to meet in peace. We traded cigarettes, showed them pictures of our families. He brought us beer and told stories of what Christmas was like for them back home. And for one moment, a brief moment, the war had stopped. By now, both sides knew the war was going to last a long, long time, and that many of these young men would not survive it. Under the moonlight, they buried their dead, and as the snow came down, an officer pulled out his Bible, opened it, and read the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. December the 26th, at eight in the morning, I climbed from my trench and stood in the morning fog. I fired three shots in the air and we raised a flag that said, Merry Christmas on it. The German officer smiled and then put up a sheet that said, Danke, thank you. Thank you. He bowed and I raised my hand in salute. And in an instant, the war was back on. Subscribe to this channel before you look uncool.